Hello and welcome to the CSCART video tutorials. My name is Sergey. The topic of our today's lesson is the types of product features. In the previous video we spoke about features in general. Now let's speak about them in a more detailed way. As an example I'm going to use this red trefoil hoodie. First let's go to the features tab and then preview our new product. Here we have the brand feature and here we have the brand feature too. That's all we have on this products page. It's gonna change soon. Let's start making changes. First we need to go to the global features page and create a new feature group. Feature groups help you to organize your features and um, apply some general settings for all features. Uh, let me show you. Apparel features. Position doesn't matter, description skip it. Yeah, position settings I spoke about. Show on the features tab, show in product list, show in header on the product details page. Well, when we apply this setting here, all features included in this group will be automatically influenced by this setting. So show on the feature step will be applied to all of them. It will be enabled. Yeah, if I enable it here. Lots of ways to say the same thing, but I think you got the point. Now categories. If you speak about apparel, let's add the apparel category here. Electronics, sports, uh -huh. apparel and uh, well, I think just to avoid any errors. Let's add everything else. Done. Okay, general, position, code, show on the features tab, enabled. Because I want my features to be automatically displayed on the features tab. Now let's create. And now we can begin adding new features. Okay, add feature, name, waterproof, for example. Uh, feature code, position, doesn't matter. Type, single. Checkbox, single. This is the first type. Group, apparel features. Show on the features tab. Applied. Okay, uh, prefix, suffix. Uh, well, everything that comes before the text of a feature and everything that comes after the text of a feature. We are going to skip that. Uh, description. Waterproof cloth, something like that. Create. And now let's go to the products page, I mean uh, to the hoodie page on the admin panel. Approved features, waterproof. Let's enable it. Don't forget to enable the features on the local feature tab. Now let's preview, ah, uh, say. Now let's preview our product. It's all the same. Features. Brand Adidas apparel features. Waterproof. Waterproof cloth. This is the description. You can write anything related to the waterproof cloth here. Explain it, write its history, add some images if you wish. Everything. Okay, waterproof cloth. Yes, because it's enabled. The first type is done. Next, let's add one more feature. Add feature, name, accessories. I'm gonna call it this way, it doesn't really matter. Type, checkbox, multiple, group, apparel features, show on the features tab. That's right. Variants, here we have variants. For example, laces, Hood Long sleeves And I don't know Knee length uh, Let's It's better to call it details I made up a name Create Now let's go to our products page Here we have details Hood Knee length. Uh, no, I'm sorry. We will skip knee length. 
laces and long sleeves yeah okay we can also add the new detail by entering it right here and it will be added to the global feature too for example red logo done okay nice now let's go to the products page feature tab and that's what we have here details hood laces long sleeves red logo everything's correct now let's add one more feature by the way i spoke about local feature adding now let's see the result of our adding variants red logo was added to the global feature so it works both ways now fabric okay the type is select box text group apparel features mm, show in product list for example variants cotton oh i'm sorry uh once it's one, once again okay we're not done yet okay cotton nylon wool save now let's activate them fabric uh, none cotton nylon wool cotton for example okay we can enter one more here if we want or we can choose any any other okay that's how it works select box so we choose we choose only one variant from the list now let's save it and proceed straight to the next feature let's not waste time on the preview Hit feature and the next type is number here we can enter the numbers only apparel features uh, for example waterproof and uh, here you have 100 percent waterproof percent uh, because we cannot enter anything but numbers here i'll have to write it this way 75 percent and uh, 50 percent create now let's add one more feature with the select box and at that see the results of our manipulations the last select box type feature brand manufacturer you might have noticed that we already have one brand feature well so i'm going to change the rules of the game i'm not going to create one more brand feature instead of this i want to show you how else you can use this feature technologies yes adidas clothes have lots of technologies in it let's add them variants Okay, we can you can add picture here, edit plan plus. Okay, let's call it exactly the same thing, right? We can add description here. I'm going to take to take it from the Adidas side, just like this. Okay, and uh, add one more technology here. Okay, local climb proof. Um, proof okay and one more description there you go so instead of uh, creating the library of brands you can create a library of technologies or any other library and uh, you can use it at any time once created it will stay here forever create now let's go to the products page. Truffle hoodie. Fabric done. Technologies. Edit plan. Okay. Oh, climber proof. Okay, let it be climber proof. Save. Ah, by the way, waterproof. Um, 75%. So now let's save. And preview. Adidas done. Okay. Features. Details. Fabric. Cotton. Technologies. Climber proof. Waterproof. Done. Waterproof. Percent. Done. We can also take a look at the features. 
enter category page. Here, travel hoodie, cotton. By the way, speaking about brands and technologies, as you might know, there is a special page for brands here. If we go to the Our Brands page, here we have a list of all the brands that are presented in the store, for example, Adidas brand. You can create the same page for the technologies, if you wish. I'm not going to show you it in this video, but it's up to you. And uh, then you choose the specific technology, all the products where this technology is applied will be shown on this page, just like with the brands. As you can see, the brand feature type can be applied not only for the brands, but for the different types of information. Only three types left, guys. Add feature. Okay, we're going to call it, yeah, fabric again, uh, with the only difference. Okay, others, text, group, apparel features. Okay, and uh, here, okay, create button, done, now let's go to the hoodies page and enter the text. Fabric, for example, cotton 95%, nylon 5%. Okay, that's how we can add a more detailed information about a product. Uh, stay on this page, save. Now back to the features page. Add feature. Numbers. Works just like the select box, the only difference is that uh, there will be no choice, you just enter the numbers and that's it. Apparel features, name, year of origins. Okay, create. I will fill the field later. And the last one, add feature, date of production. Yes, the last one is related to the date. Others, date, group, apparel features. Showing product list, yes. By the way, here in the features settings, you can regulate uh, to show details. Let's call it this way. Show in product list, show in the features tab, show in header or the product details page to show details of each feature. Let's proceed to the hoodie page. Date of production. For example, 10 of May, 2016, done, fabric done. Okay, year of origins. 1960, for example. Okay, save. And preview, the final preview for this video. Features. Okay, waterproof, yes, waterproof percent 75, year of origins 1960, fabric cotton, uh, a more detailed fabric review. Cotton 95%, nylon 5%. Okay. And uh, the last one, date of production, 10th of May 2016. Also, don't forget that some of the features are presented at the categories page. Here, date of production and cotton. Well, that's it. Oh, one more thing about uh, sorting of the features and uh, feature groups. Okay, we need to go back to the admin panel. Uh, yeah, I almost forgot. As you can see, we have we now have lots of features here, and uh, to divide them from the feature groups, you can just click and choose this feature groups. And by the way, when you delete the feature group, all the features included in this group will be deleted too. So be careful when you delete your feature groups. Now that's it. Hope you enjoyed our features functionality. Don't be shy to use it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCAD video tutorials.